I know that I shouldn't be excited and it low key makes me a really stinky bad person, a horrible person even, to laugh at someone's downfall, but I do think Keffels is one of those people who, you know, their downfall is pretty much deserved. They've lost a few thousand subscribers on their YouTube channel. Nothing they're doing is working. No one cares about them. And about a week and a half ago, I made a video on Keffels. The fact that she's a trans activist, and I'm saying that very lightly, and she raised $100,000 for charity to fight the system because she was misgendered and, you know, $100,000 would fund her fight against the police and injustice. And I'm with you, you know, fight the system. Fuck yeah. It's been over a year. No updates. And I get it lawsuits could be slow but she herself has said that yeah nothing's going on right now and instead of donating money to i don't know trans charities if that's what you want to do since you know kefos herself is transgender you could have funded someone who needed help and she wasted a big portion of that on drugs so much for fighting the system am i right and this is where willie Mac show comes into play he recently dropped a video exposing pretty much everything about this woman. The original video will be linked below. I'm a little too excited for this. Keffels is a failed politician for the Canadian Communist Party. She was swatted by one online group and then lied about it being another bigger, more popular site. Kiwi Farms is an online community of stalkers that torment and harass their victims so intensely. We did it. We actually did it. So many people have tried for so long to do this and we actually got Kiwi Farms down. It's not bad. Not bad at all. The website would never be shut down. She would cry, <laughs> lie. We need as many people as possible to know who they are. Am I the only one that sees nothing in her eyes? There's nothing in there. There's no soul. And you know, I'm not a religious person myself. I don't believe in that. But even now I'm like, you gotta have some soul in you. Like, God damn, like at least pretend it's like a dead ass stare. Like just imagine walking down the street, you know, you go to the liquor store and you see this thing looking at you. It's, I will be shitting my pants. There is nothing behind those eyes. So not only is she a failed politician for Canada, which she's a failed Twitch streamer, She's a failed Twitter activist. She's a failed activist. She's a failed YouTuber. Nothing has gone right. The only thing she has done right is being a professional scammer and stealing $100,000 from people who actually thought their money was going to do justice. Something was going to be done. <laughs> Lie. We need as many people as possible to know who they are if we plan to fight back against them. That's why I need every single person who has watched this video to share the video and to spread the word. Later admitting to baiting them into doxing her so she could get even more publicity. And my little ragtag team were able to force their hand by intentionally making myself a lightning rod so I could make Kiwi Farms more vicious and attack me to the point where Cladflare had no choice because every time they attacked me, I publicized it. And Kiwi Farms wouldn't even be the culprit. I covered this story nearly two years ago, but now I have the court doc. Oh my god, nah, Willie did. <laughs> what the fuck is this picture of her? It looks like she's literally melting in real time. This video will paint a fuller picture. This is how an activist scammed her movement. There's a lot of people in my audience that look up to me. I don't want to let them down. Yeah, guys, look up to the trans activists that stolen money from innocent people and admitted to using that money for drugs. Great example. How about you don't look up to, you know, insane people like Keffels? And I get being inspired by YouTubers. I've been inspired by YouTubers in the past. I completely understand that and I get it. Don't worship them. Don't think of them as gods. You know, crazy to say because to me it's like common sense, right? But there's people out there who legitimately thought Keffels was God herself. She came down from heaven to save all the trans kids and illegally give them hormones. Keffels was swatted August 5th, 2022. This is partly because she's trans and people after her are insanely bigoted and partly because she's insufferable. You will understand later. These people sent an email impersonating Keffels using her dead name, saying she killed her transphobic mom and plans to kill every cisgendered person at City Hall. Keffels uploaded a video titled, My Life is in Danger, I Need Your Help, saying that the police violated her human rights. The fact that a fake email led to London Police Services booking me under my dead name reveals the prejudice that many police have towards transgender people. She would also claim that the police caused her and her fiance financial harm and that she was opening a GoFundMe to recoup her losses. Move and any extra money past the goal would be used to sue the police. They seized both my personal and work phone, as well as the work computer that I broadcast on Twitch from. Because of the negligence of the police, we were both left functionally unemployed 
and I have spent thousands of dollars replacing our computers and cell phones so our lives aren't completely destroyed by what happened to us. The GoFundMe was initially set to $20,000 and she exceeded it immediately, but would suspiciously raise the goal every time it was about to hit it. That's extremely shady for you to be like, I need $10,000. You're like at 9,999 and then you push it to like, now I need $15,000. If you yourself admitted that the goal was 10K, why push it forward? Well, the answer is obvious. Free money. I'm trans, okay? I'm trans. People will feel bad for me. This is, you know, a few years ago. Now, I don't think this shit will fly. Because of the damage Keffels has done, I truly do think, and I am not being funny here, the harm that Keffels and Vosh and Jalen, the damage those three individuals have done to the trans movement are horrible these three losers pushed this movement back to like the early 2000s when you think of trans activists what do you think of keffels jalen dylan mulvaney or whatever the fuck that thing's name is like you like it's the worst examples that they're pushing and then you're surprised what people don't support that and i'm not saying i'm one of those people but it's not helping the movement when you got obnoxious horrible people like that in the front lines of the movement i'm not saying that every trans person is bad or horrible and i'm not saying that i hate them that's no that's not what i'm trying to get across what i'm trying to get across is that the face of the trans community are all horrible people that makes everyone else look bad and i know that not every trans person is the same as them you got scammers you got obnoxious you got racist people in there it's not really doing that much for the movement if anything it's setting it back and on top of that it's making people hate trans people more than ever because they think every trans person is kevils or a Jalen, they just ruined it for everyone else when that's in that situation. This inspired me to open a GoFundMe. Keffels would be targeted and harassed several times, the first one being the email threat to City Hall. This got media coverage and pushed her GoFundMe off the ground. Keffels would try and get away spending a night at a hotel, posting a picture of her cat letting everyone know she was okay. The doctors then cross-referenced the bed sheets with other hotels in her city to find the one she was staying at. They sent her pizzas. In the morning afterwards, five different pizza companies sent pizzas to my hotel room. <laughs> God, that is fucking wild. Loki gotta respect the dedication to that. Like, how do you find someone at a hotel room just from their bed sheets? That is absolutely insane to me. Unless it was fake. Conspiracy theory time? Unless she's setting all, or she did this or planned this all behind the scenes to make her look even sadder and like the victim. And guys, I need money, please. I, I can't work. Why couldn't you work? Have you thought about getting a job? Obviously, it isn't the pizzas that are the problem, but it's a threat that they make. She then had her Uber account hacked multiple times, doxing her again, and had hundreds of dollars worth of stuff delivered to her. And every time she would get doxed, she would blame it on Kiwi Farms, encouraging services like Cloudflare to drop the site so it would be shut down. This story blew up even more in the media where she would be labeled a trans activist. I'm a high profile transgender activist. There's a big target on my back. The community that I built online was the only time we ever felt like a normal teenager. <laughs> I've seen better acting on the hub. Like guys, we're like so close to like 500,000 subscribers. Can we please get there? I am a Latin X activist. Show me support. Just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> like if you can't see through it, you're either A, too much of a good person or B, you haven't been online enough to know that people lie, believe it or not, on social media and then on interviews. I actually don't know this. How old is Keffels? So Keffels is 30 years old. It was the only time we ever felt like a normal teenager. <laughs> And the target on my back is because of that. She would officially declare war on Kiwi Farms and its owner in a video titled Things Have Escalated. Now I'm in hiding. This blew up the GoFundMe even more. And just like before, she would continue to raise the goal. It was already over $70,000 and she's like, actually, from this point on, now it's for the lawsuit. Until then, I am keeping the GoFundMe up, but any donations towards it from this point forward will be strictly towards the legal fund. Her attitude towards doxing would completely change. She'd say she needed to flee again, but to Europe. She needed to flee the internet to Europe. It makes no sense. You can't flee a website. Statistically speaking, the people doxing her likely didn't live anywhere near her. Streamers get swatted all the time. They don't flee. They don't travel to Europe announcing every country she's going to. She would then buy an IRL streaming setup so she could stream in the streets. But IRL streamers get doxed even more. So you have to flee to Europe so people don't know where you are, but you're streaming your location. You go to TwitchCon, but you're streaming your location. People would become suspicious of her intentions raising the goal, and she'd chalk them up as conspiracy theorists. 
people were so gracious they came together and they helped me out and while i really respect it it's brought a lot of people to do the QAnon brain bullshit about me where they're saying i'm stealing money from my fans she announces she's going to spain this was a fucking paid vacation you know what i need to become a line x activist guys i need a hundred thousand dollars to run away from the internet right this second and then i'm gonna do a world tour i'm gonna hit up italy i love italy been there once definitely going again i want to go to the uk maybe hit up germany jesus i want to go to japan you know to get away from the hate right if anyone makes a hate video on me i'm just gonna run away to japan chill for two weeks then maybe go to Australia. Uh, but this is for my safety, guys. If you're trying to get away from doxing, shouldn't you, like, keep your mouth shut about where you're going to be at? Guys, this is for my safety. And if you disagree with me, you're transphobic and you're a crazy conspiracy theorist bigot. Shut the fuck up. This was so you can get free vacations. Oh, I'm going to Spain. I'm going to Italy. I'm going to Ireland. If you were truly fearing for your life and for your safety, what would you ever say? Stay in Ireland until the 27th. Then I'm going to Spain until the 11th. And I'm going to get my apartment... Like, shouldn't you keep this to yourself? I mean, you would assume that would be common sense. If you're trying to go into hiding, you should never tell them your plans. This is stupid. She's mad at people for questioning her intentions of fleeing the country and buying a new streaming setup, but look at this. She would get doxxed for a bomb threat called in at a food truck because she's streaming herself there, and her response would be, oh, I just didn't think about it. So why would you tweet like, hey, there's this, you know, I don't know, like a truck, right? Like a food truck that Kiwi Farms threatened tweet to that. bomb. You never tweeted no, that no. there's a truck that Kiwi Farms threatened to bomb and you're going to IRL stream there? Uh, oh yeah, no, I, I did. I was going to go to the truck. And yeah, so, I, so like you're super I dangerous, had, so I'm going to go to the truck? Yeah, I already had police connections while I was in Ireland, and they knew ahead of time where I was going. But you had police connections in, Ca in uh, yeah, Canada, and they knew where you were going, right? Yeah, <laughs> like what's your point, though? <laughs> My point is none of this makes sense, Gaffles. Like, are you, are you, do you think I'm like a robot? Like I, I am going to make like 100% the most logical decisions when I'm scared. They're just asking you to stop posting your location. She's such a weasel. And every time she'd get doxxed, the media storm would start all over again. Kiwi Farms chasing Keffels around the world. Bigots hound transgender streamer forced to hide out in Belfast. And I'm pretty sure that they called in, like they tried to swat us. We can't tell if yeah. it's the same person. We can't tell if it's the same person, but shortly after this photo was taken. The police knocked on the door to tell us that someone had reported a murder in this flat. Her fans were concerned as to why she was telling people where she was going. And she's like, Europe's big, Ireland's dense. I'm currently in Ireland. This is one of those moments where I have to bring the R word here. F fools is a fucking retard. Okay, just picture this. Imagine trying to run away from the hate, from Kiwi forms, from the biggest, from whatever you guys want to call it. Imagine trying to run away from that, yet you're tweeting every single time you move. Uh, guys, I'm going to be in Japan fucking March 19th. Then I'm going to Australia on March 25th. Why would you do that if you're trying to hide? And I'm not claiming to be the smartest person, but if this was me, yeah, you bet your ass I would go full silent mode. And I think 100% of the people who's watching would be like, yeah, dude, that makes the most sense, right? You're not supposed to be telling everyone where you are when you're trying to hide from everyone who hates you. Basically, like, do you think things have chilled at this point? And they're like, yeah, probably. So you aren't fleeing. This is just a vacation. She would contradict herself again in a private Patreon stream. I have not been able to focus on actually taking legal action because I was still I was still concerned for my well-being and my safety. The only reason I ended up going to TwitchCon is because a security firm that I hired and I can't go into the specifics because I signed a non-disclosure agreement told me that they thought that the heat died down and it would have been safe for me to travel there, which I essentially see as a work trip. Let me break it down for you. That means, yeah, this is a fucking world tour and I'm traveling. This is a paid vacation that I took for free because my fans paid for it. <laughs> you can't trust these people. It's so easy to see through their BS, but their shield is always bigot, conspiracy, transphobic. Like if you don't agree with these people a thousand percent, you're just the worst. If you dare question them, this was a vacation and everyone should know it. A few weeks later, she'd go on live stream, seemingly inebriated, saying she's depressed. Hello, Keffels. I'm a three months HRT trans girl. I'd just like to say you're my role model. Look, I'm proud of you, 
but you should you should pick a better role model like for instance spongebob because like spongebob's never done anything wrong 30 year old woman by the way i just want to put it out there yeah this is what i mean don't make youtubers role models the fact that there's people that turn transgender because of kefels don't be influenced by people like her she's like the worst person you can look up for inspiration do you really trust this person on screen right now her family would beg her to get off can you grab me the mic arm What? I wouldn't really hear from Keffels for a while until she announced she was signing up for rehab. In the next few days, I'll be admitted to rehab. The doctor said because of the drugs I'm addicted to, without medical supervision, detoxing will kill me. This was in February, meaning this whole time she might have been addicted. When she got out of rehab, she held a Patreon-only stream saying she was addicted to drugs since she talked to Keemstar. This is before she even determined who she was suing. Around the end of 2022, I started drinking, um, which made me spiral. It was around the time that I was in fights with Keemstar. Yeah, it makes the stream make a lot more sense. And then as more and more shit started happening, I started doing cocaine at the start of 2023. Wow, I wonder where she's getting the money from to, uh, to buy these drugs. I wonder, because before she didn't have money. Eight days into a cocaine bender, I found out that the coke that I was doing was cut with meth. Womp womp. So for eight days straight, I was doing coke and meth. Am I supposed to be like, no, don't die. You're so awesome, LOL. I'm sorry, but I don't care. I don't feel bad. Let's just call it what it is. She stole money from innocent people and she used that money to go on a vacation and to buy drugs while claiming to be finding Kiwi farms and doing the right thing because of a hate crime. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so anyways, this video will be linked below in case you guys want to see it full. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.